Hi everyone! Welcome to my very first episode of PR Happy Hour. I'm your host, Olivia Adams, and this is um, my very first vlog. Um, you probably know me as Olivia Adams PR over on Twitter and through my blog. Um, I've decided to start this vlog because it's been something um, I've always wanted to do. I remember being back in high school and I would videotape myself in my bedroom on like beauty techniques and life advice, things I learned at school, but I was always like way too shy to share them with anyone. Um, so now I've decided that I'm just going to do it, I'm not going to wait until I have the perfect equipment, the perfect lighting, the perfect everything, I'm just going to roll with it and do it. Um, because you know what, I need to figure out if I even like vlogging. You probably already know a little bit about me, but if you don't, I have a really diverse background. I had several internships in college, worked in a variety of organizations. I mostly worked with nonprofit, but I did work for an agency for almost two years. And so I've really learned a lot about digital PR and creating a community online through public relations. And right now I work for the Chamber of Commerce here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I am the social media manager. Um, so I'm in charge of our online presence and really boosting engagement. Um, so that's just a little bit about me, but I wanted to get to the heart of what PR Happy Hour is about. PR Happy Hour is a, a weekly video blog where I will be sharing um, resources and tips and advice um, that pertain to public relations and really any experiences I, I have along the way um, that kind of influence um, my career and life and maybe how they relate to you. Um, so it'll be anything from what I learned on the job to what I've learned through a Twitter chat to what I learned on a coffee date. Um, I want to share with you my experiences so hopefully you can pick up a tidbit and apply it to your life and feel more inspired when you go back to work or go back to school and um, really just to help you learn how to be the best um, PR professional that you can be or the best communicator, marketer, um, whatever type of profession you are in. I just want to share with you my experiences on building relationships, meeting people, and really um, just living a full life as a young professional. So I thought the best way to kick off my series of PR happy hour is to define public relations. I think this is something that many professionals in this field have a hard time defining. Whether you've been in the industry for 10 years or you're a freshman in college, I think no one really knows the exact definition of PR, especially a good definition to tell like mom and dad when you come home from your first semester of college or when you're um, graduating from school and you're working from home as a social media manager and trying to tell that to your grandparents. Um, I think PR is can be very intangible at times. So I want to kind of give you a better idea of how I define public relations and how I've applied my own definition to my work. Um, so the way I look at PR is that the foundation is relationships. Um, the goal of any PR strategy is to create trust between an organization and their targeted audience, whether it's a business trying to engage their customers or a nonprofit trying to bring in more, more donors or raising awareness of their mission. It's really finding that pinpoint where you are connecting with your audience. And I think public relations um, is a great way to build that positive relationship because at the end of the day, PR, you want to tell a story about your brand or business. And through that story, you're relating to other people. And I think that's the most essential way to um, carry out a successful public relations strategy. So now you're probably wondering, how do I tell mom and dad that? Or my grandparents who are helping me pay for college. Well, I honestly, the best way to tell it is that you help an organization gain trust with their customers. Um, public relations is, oh, see, I'm struggling with, <laughs> because there's so many ways to define it. But really, um, 
it's what you do if you want to go home it is you're using communication strategies to really build trust with other people and create awareness of an organization and create a positive reputation so whenever I go home to my parents and well actually a good example when I my first job after college I was working from home for a small PR firm and my dad is super old school and every time I would see him even on the day of my college graduation it's like oh so you're just gonna work in your bunny slippers for the rest of your life and I'm like well no not exactly but um it, it was really hard explaining to them, yes, I, I'm blogging for a living, I'm ghostwriting for a living, and I'm managing like five social media accounts, like, and I'm getting paid to do it. And it's just hard for that older generation to really understand where PR is going. Um, so really, you have to think about the position you have. So like for me, um, I'm a social media manager, so clearly I am using social media to really build awareness of my organization. So I feel like I didn't really give you a, the solid definition of, <laughs> of what um, you were hoping for because I, but at the same time, it's like I didn't want to give you a textbook definition because if I did, I would pull out my, um, all my work from my senior year at Ferris and read to you um, Ferris State PR's um, definition of PR. I think it's something like, something about building relationships with top management to influence, educate, and I'm ashamed that I don't remember it, and I am sorry, Dr. Bishop, if you're watching this, <laughs> but um, I definitely think about it all the time, but really it's PR starts at the top, and if leadership is on board with the goal of their organization, they'll be able to help build relationships and trust with their um, targeted audience. Um, so when you go home um, next weekend or for the summer, or you're at a party or a wedding this summer, just say, yes, I work in PR, and it's a whole mix of communications and marketing, and I help businesses build relationships with their customers and yeah it's fun and I get to tweet and write and plan events and be creative all day long. I think that really sums up how I view PR. I know I've rambled on for almost 10 minutes um, but I hope that has given you some insight on um, how you define public relations and um, maybe how you transform your textbook definition. Um, so that's, I'm going to wrap up today's episode of PR Happy Hour, and I would love for you to reach out in the comments section below, or email me at oliviaadamspr at gmail.com with any questions you might have about working in PR, um, what I do, what I love, or any concerns you might have, anything at all, and I would love to answer it on my next episode. Um, I did a survey back in February and I got a lot of good questions on what you guys are looking for as my readers um, and now viewers. So I'm going to keep brainstorming ideas and if you have any questions at all, please reach out because I love talking to other people and um, finding out what you're passionate about and you know, helping those goals happen and feeling more inspired. So thank you for watching my first episode and I hope to see you next week. Have an awesome day.